Hey guys, in this lesson we are going to see how to programmatically change label text from a another view controller in Swift Xcode application. Let's go ahead and open a project. I'm going to add a label to my main storyboard and some constraints to this top 12, left 12, right 12. Now label text as example text okay now we need another view controller that we will able to change this label text we have to create a view controller cocotas class for this we can right click on this project name go to new file selecting the cocotas class and then click on next Finally, let's say the class name as second view controller. I will click on this create now. Here, we have to connect this file with our storyboard. To do that, you have to press on this yellow icon. Then go to this show the identity inspector section. Here, you have to select your class name. In this case, second view controller is mine. Okay. The next thing is we have to add a button that we can go to this page. Press on this library button. Then drag the button to here. I will add also some constraint standard as for this label. Then 12 left, right 12. Okay. Uh, this one should be now I need to change button text by double clicking it open second view controller now how we can show this view controller to show that I'm going to just press on control in my keyboard then drag this to here and select in the show all right now if you wish you can embed this in navigation controller click on editor in the top then click on embed in select the navigation controller now it will be open like this now we can add the button and a text field that we can edit the text then press on enter and this change will be happen Firstly, we need text field. I will add constraint as top 12, left 12, right 12. Placeholder for text field as some random text. Okay. Now we need the button finally. I will say here change that label text now we need to set up some constraints to top tool left tool right tool all right that is it now we need to connect these text field and button with second view controller as connections to perform that let's see by this way go to assistant if second view controller is not open like this all you have to do is try this way press on this button add editor on right then go back to left side and click there now you can select your file in my case it is second view controller now we need to connect this text field to here by pressing control in the keyboard we can drag to here connection should be outlet the name for that let's say text field for label now i will connect that here we need to connect the button as action 
for the connection I will say btn change now type as ui button okay now we need to connect this label with it is view controller as label now i will drag that to here by pressing control in the keyboard and set in the connection as outlet name for that as label txt all right that's end of the designing part i'm going to open my view controller first here we have to add the extension for our notification package available in our shift i will say extension and notification dot name inside braces we have to pass in a variable static let and let's say reload something like that i will set this equals to notification dot name and then parenthesis inside this we can pass in reload as the identifier for our notification center okay now uh, the second thing that we have to do is we have to add the observer in our view did load we can say notification center dot default dot add observer right first argument for this add observer will be self then we have go to the top or below of this view did plot and then create a new at objc function i will say reload label now parenthesis inside parenthesis we have to pass in a parameter type as notification okay now put braces inside braces we can do the reloading that means change in the text of this we have to make a new global variable for store that text available in this text field here in the view controller in the above of this class view controller i will say var then my new label text or something like that you can use i can set that equals to double quotations all right here i will say my label text this layout component label txt dot text is equals to my new label text okay now we have to say the selector here hash selector and then parenthesis we have to say self dot then the function name here reload label now we can keep the notification colon as it is and then ending of that parenthesis we have to put this in the parenthesis too okay for the name argument we can pass in notification dot name parenthesis now inside this we have to say what is the identifier of our notification we use reload for that okay now object we can say that as nil all right here i added self instead of reload as i said here i can replace this with this identifier of the notification which is the reload now the next thing is we have to open this second view controller when user click on this btn change that means this button we have to get that text field text to a variable i will say let my txt is equals to text field for label dot text and then i will add question mark question mark and then just double quotations that means if this text field is empty 
these double quotations will get into place that means just empty string okay then it will avoid some crashes now i will set this variable a equals to with this my new label txt we can directly access that here my new label txt is a goes to my txt okay the next thing that we have to do is call in for our notification center we can say notification center dot default dot post now name should be the identifier which we put here this reload to assess that we can say dot reload actually we are taking the parameter as name then we can say name colon and then dot reload okay that's fine we have to pass in the object object we can say nil object colon nil now we can go ahead and see what will happen app is running we can click on this open second view controller now i will add some random text hello there how are you doing okay i press on this change that label text let's see that label has been changed to hello there how are you doing okay i will include this project file in description and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.